very good afternoon everyone welcome to the second edition of wood presents video next asia week 2022 video next asia week is the virtual avatar of our annual conference video next asia the oldest and the most engaging b2b event in the online video space held annually since 2017 before we move on we'd like to thank our presenting partner wood and insights partner nepa for their support the first session of the event is a panel discussion on winning the advertisers trust on the panel we have jaylala ceo zenith the roi agency kiran giratkar cmo nilons ramanglingam subramanian head of brand marketing and communications at coin dcx and smita murarka cmo bureaflex the session will be moderated by ashwini gangal managing editor at afax welcome everyone the audience is requested to please stay back as we have two more interesting sessions lined up over to you ashwini thank you debashish uh, hi everyone audience and hi warm welcome to my panelists formally a uh, welcome to video next week now this is the second edition uh, actually in keeping with the spirit of the subject i should say it's season 2 of video next week which is the online avatar of video next asia um, the very first conference i must just remind everyone was held in 2017 that was offline in in mumbai okay so uh, coming to this session over here to discuss the a of a word um, for once it's not about subscription it's about advertiser backed video streaming content so the tenet that i am going to hinge the next 35 minutes on is targeted advertising funds free content okay now the operative word there is targeted because and that that brings me to the topic of the session uh, in the absence of a universally accepted viewership metric how do marketers make decisions make sound decisions around their ott spends uh, yes uh, streaming platforms are trying to give some kind of data to marketers so it's not like there's no data at all um you know we've got large agencies and firms like nielsen or max comscore we've got bark and kantar and what have you trying to come together and solve this problem so that's there uh, we've also got data management platforms we've got third party trackers we've got tech firms positioned as intermediaries between streaming platforms and uh, agencies and you know their clients uh, advertisers of course where the buck really stops so we've got an entire ecosystem Uh, bringing tools together, trying to solve this problem of uh, the lack of uh, measurement and a lack of viewership metric. However, the question is: Is that enough? What are platforms doing? Can they do more? Um, and it's not just about as an industry coming together to create this universally accepted viewership metric. It's probably also about asking our advertisers, uh, like my panelists, whether uh, individual platforms also ought to be more transparent. with their data so it's a bit of both and that's the question what do they expect from streaming platforms so that eventually we'll have one unified view of the consumer across ott that's the focus of this panel now on that note i'd like to invite my panelists to just take a couple of minutes each and give their opening remarks now i just have to stop here and mention that we've got a brilliant panel because we this was not by design but we cover uh, segments that touch the bedroom to the kitchen so we've got smita from duroflex we've got uh, kiran from nilons um ram represents a very hot young category coin dcx belongs to it's a cryptocurrency exchange so that's another interesting perspective i'm looking forward to hearing and of course we've got jay we've got a media buying senior media buying authority on the panel who deals with clients across categories uh, that are beyond the purview of of what i see on the screen right now so over to my panelists in no specific order we'll start with smita i just want to understand um from each of you how much of your digital spend really goes towards ott so let's start with that to put the whole thing in perspective to begin with um what's your experience uh, been like over the last 12 to 24 months advertising on ott and do you really feel hand on heart do you feel like you're shooting in the dark sometimes because there's no data so talk about that and jay once the marketers are done i'll come to you for your opening comment i'd like you to just give us a broad sense of what the conversation is like with your clients and again you know are they grappling at at a specific stage in the advertising when it comes to planning ott and uh, you know where do they really get stuck uh, in this context so i want that uh, frank opinion from you so we'll start with smita 
Yeah, um, thanks Ashwini. Thanks for this very interesting lineup and, and a very, very interesting hot topic. Uh, for us at Duroflex, our marketing strategy is built on a combination of things. Uh, definitely a strategy that is help, helping us build scale through tried and tested measures, but also uh, really keeping an eye on the changing consumer behavior and where are they really consuming a lot of content, spending a lot of time and, and really um, understanding uh, the advertising that's happening around it too, right? So that brings us to OTT. And uh, OTT has really evolved thanks to the pandemic. A lot of spillover, a lot of changing behavior of TV watching viewership has happened on OTT. A lot of um, channels have been able to maybe fast track and advance their plans on OTT, right? So it, OTT has got mainstream and it is pretty recent phenomena. So the way we look at it is, uh, it is part of our recent phenomena trend, consumer uh, strategy, more than just being a medium strategy or, or something that's channel defined, right? Because today, I think the channels are also learning the rules of the game. Everybody is trying to understand how do we finally play this from a code of conduct, advertising versus, you know, uh, media buying, that sort of a thing. So it's, it's really in evolution and it's upon all of us to put our questions, problems out there and for for um, you know to create systems and measures in which we can uh, really identify definitely uh, the problem of ott today is having very clearly defined rules or body of regulation like tv has a bark right a uh, youtube is is an open platform and, and data is available across um, consumer behavior across the funnel very easily at our fingertips so here ott needs to really come together and answer that question for advertisers that what is that regulation matrix or a clear uh, metric or a body that brings OTT as a platform together. And it's a one, one answer for us to evaluate because today all channels are operating at different ways and it's making things very complicated. While we continue to invest, our investments have gone up and about 20% of our overall um, digital video spends do go on OTT. Uh, it's definitely gonna go up, but it's going to make us so much more helpless the more it goes up, right? So uh, for us, honestly, we're really looking for everybody to unite and have a clear metric which unites all the channels while they continue to have different ways of doing things. I think learning from YouTube um, and, and from some of the big daddies like Google, Facebook, how they really united their metric. Today an Amazon, a Google and a Facebook has some simple metrics as digital marketing which unites all the platforms, right? Mm -hmm. While they do it differently. So similarly, how can OTT do that for us? I think that'll be a really a great question to crack. Absolutely. From that advisor's point of view. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Ram, why don't you go next? You know, what's your experience been like on OTT in the last 12 to 24 months? Sure. So uh, for us at here, uh, here at CoinDCX, we uh, we started first on OTT. Uh, it was a logical choice for us, uh, uh, looking at the kind of spends that is required on TV, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we started with the hope also from this angle, saying that uh, from a pure metrics point of view, um, TV is much more difficult to crack than OTT, right? That's, that's the premise from which we started. Hmm. Uh, largely, the premise remains true. We have, we get some better data. However, hmm. if compared to say, say other channels that are available, I think, uh, there's a long way to go, right? Uh, yeah. and as a marketer data is very important for us to take these, uh, calls, um, we, we do expect uh, better standardization there. Mm. See, today we have some certain fundamental uh, metrics available. Um, they act as building blocks. We decide, uh, basis those building blocks, how do we move forward, right? But for example, um, and when I actually went back to my team to ask them, like, what would you also like, right? Mm. Uh, and they came up saying that, see, we are doing a campaign in this in the South, right? And if I mm. if I want to understand the um, the kind of awareness created across the five states, something like a CPM is not just enough for me, right? Uh, we would like to know a bit more about which are the top cities with, with impressions, understand the depth, median minutes of of uh, video watched. Uh, how much videos are, how, how it is shared, how the kind of engagement that happens, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps uh, like from learning from uh, largely from TV, we, and we get uh, an analysis post the consumption of, of the kind of brand reach or organic reach, right? How kind of, what kind of search volumes uh, did, did that spend create? Mm -hmm. uh, these pointers, right? Uh, 
I know a, a lot needs to be done, but I think if if we invest in these spaces, uh, and as 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 advertisers, I think uh, we we would like to participate. We would like to uh, personally also invest, right? Because it's it, it's at the end of the day going to help us and help our help us manage our budgets much more efficiently. So mm. definitely would look uh, look forward. Uh, I think uh, uh, Smita mentioned about uh, about uh, Bark, right? It's mm. uh, it's a joint body. Right and something on those lines, I think, would definitely help for uh, OTT as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, by the end of these thirty-five minutes, we'll have some solutions also. Maybe. Sure. Uh, Kiran, why don't you go next? Just with your opening remark. Uh, perfect for the brands like us who are operating in FMCG. Uh, we are still targeting to hit at the upper funnel of the marketing. We are mm -hmm. still looking at reach, frequency, and you know awareness, etc. Not so much into the performance marketing. Mm -hmm. As Mita said, now consumer is changing. Their screens are changing. So definitely, we have to uh, take the cognizance of that and you know address that market. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we are looking at OTT is not from the digital performance marketing perspective. What we are looking at it as an uh, you know the connected televisions. Because yeah. I, as Rama said, you know I don't have too much of money to spend on television. So mm -hmm. the smart strategy would be: Can you really go through OTT and get connected to the connected televisions? So okay. that is where we are spending about 20% of my budgets are actually spent there to if you have a, a brand campaigns then to make, make that imagery happen probably television becomes very very important role and if you can't mm -hmm. spend that money then ott actually becomes a savior uh, also it gives me flexibility of you know having diff running different creatives on the different markets etc i can also segment the uh, um, pgs etc but yes by end of it uh, yeah Whichever platform is com committing me some numbers and you know the tages etc. I don't have the quantity numbers etc. That is where obviously the the thing of you know having third party uh, measurement actually comes into picture. Mm -hmm. But for the small time spender, uh, OTT really has done wonders. You know, I mean mm -hmm. you you help it as a you know giving a motivation tool to your sales team, telling. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't spend money on KBC, etc. But if you are on a Sony OTT on mm. KBC, etc., so that gives them an opportunity to start the conversations uh, mm. to open up uh, cold deals and open up markets, etc. So I would actually put it in such a way that right now we as an FMCG people are still not looking at the lower funnel, which is conversion. I'm okay. still looking at the upper funnel, and their OTT is serving me the purpose. Obviously, something like Bark should be very, very uh, useful for my. Uh, you know, management team to actually convince. But as of now, I think it's very, very nascent stage, and uh, yeah. the full potential of OTT is still not explored. There are lots to happen, so I'm really not really worried about you know having that kind of a matrix. Uh, unless I am a e-commerce brand or the brand which is digitally led, like Coin uh, District, etc., where their entire money will be spent uh, behind the performance mm -hmm. market. No, that's interesting. Okay, no, that that makes sense absolutely. Uh, Jay, uh, please chime in here. Uh, give give the media buyer's perspective on this. Where do your clients get stuck? So, uh, Ashwini, actually, I'll start off by saying that uh, you know this this problem which we have, uh, I don't see a solution in the next two to three years. Okay. Uh, so, if you're expecting in the next thirty five minutes, definitely not. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, see, it uh, one is that uh, when you when you look at digital and when you look at OTD spending, uh, mm -hmm. so I don't need data to actually go and tell my clients that start spending on OTD. You know, everybody mm -hmm. knows there has been a growth, and uh, but where do I need numbers is when I need to differentiate between one OTD versus the other. Absolutely, because I need I need a metric to compare that, and that's where the challenge happens. That's right. uh, so obviously. Uh, the industry has tried, but it has not. Like you know, we've not had a success metric on that. Bark tried to get something called ACOM, and you know, to to use that, but it's it's not it's not uh, been fruitful. Yeah. Uh, so currently, we are at a stage where you know, uh, we 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 basically collect data, we mm. use our own tools internally, and then go back to our clients and try and measure that. But it's my tool, my data, you mm. know, versus so so it's it's it it gets into a little bit of a. Uh, like what? What I should say a conflict, you know, when when a OTT player versus another is not favored, they think that you know something. Is. So that's that's the reason that you know a central independent body doing that would have made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. uh, see, OTT spending definitely is going up, you know, yeah. and to me, uh, my my pushback to each and every partner has been that you know if you invest in data, if you invest in a lot of transparency, this number can just keep growing. 
so you know currently uh, like like there are clients who are uh, spending like they are digital first clients so they put all the money on digital and then there are certain clients who are on tv and the whole discussion is about moving money from tv to ott yeah and currently it's 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 my view versus my client's view versus the partner mm-hmm. view Uh, mm. but if we need numbers to analyze that this can this can only help uh, us going forward so uh, what what our expectation from our partners is that okay even if you can't get like to a, to a consensus and you know mm. have a industry body uh, monitoring all that but can we have more transparent data yeah you know? more transparent data so that we can we ourselves at, our, at an agency level will try and collate all that and mm-hmm. and go ahead and present to that so that's that's something which is there but as i said you know the the going is very good each okay. each partner is is hitting the targets they are they are doubling up their revenues in a certain span of time so obviously it's not in their interest right now to do that so i don't foresee like them getting together mm-hmm. probably at a matured stage when they've reached that level where mm-hmm. the spending has come to a threshold like it is on tv you know mm. where we, its incremental growth is of 5 to 10% versus 50% and 35% uh i think when it comes to that stage is mm. when they will get together and and try and figure out that that's the only way but otherwise i think we'll have to live like this uh, for at least a couple of years okay no it's great to have a timeline like that because that's actually um, you know it's it's a foundation for my next question like i'd like the marketers to come in here until such time how will you decide between ott1 and ott2 and ott3 i mean is it what perception based planning a show based genre based language based time of day platform based you know how how do you really maneuver this universe mm-hmm. yes yeah um actually uh, so in the absence of uh, platform data yeah our uh, our uh, ott strategy is really tv plus um youtube plus which is where is the consumer that is completing the journey again right so okay. we look at a lot of data from television we look mm-hmm. at shows which are working we don't look at channels per se uh, because mm-hmm. if you look at channels you're really limiting the audience so we look at ott as a complete bucket mm-hmm. and in plus with television mm-hmm. and you as a strategy uh, that's something that's working for us because uh, they are able to really understand Uh, the gap that ott needs to fill so it's more of a gap filling strategy versus entity first because uh, like kiran said um, our uh, funnel is pretty large and we are operating there from an awareness to a conversion to a brand advocacy the entire spectrum right so it's very mm-hmm. important for us to see our spends in that complete journey and what's the role ott is going to play mm-hmm. um, so yeah ott is a combination then where is that uh, show where is the tg where is the channel all that fits in Hmm. Uh, and we don't rely too much on just going after a particular channel we've seen hmm. that today's uh, world uh, consumers are not channel specific uh, they are more hmm. content and content is king across right whether social media whether it's ott tv anywhere so we're really operating that philosophy until some very clear metrics comes and hmm. uh, cpm also honestly on that note is a very opportunist metric for channels when hmm. the show does well it suddenly changes overnight and yeah. uh, doesn't you know so i think negotiation here or or really going ahead of the curve and doing something it's it's not fruitful enough you don't know when things change uh, so it's pretty uh, shooting in the dark in that sense but having mm. said odd is definitely an important strategy for a brand like ours which we are growing um you know i mean very very fast uh, our growth is like almost doubling every year so uh, okay. that's a very fast paced growth on a large pace yeah uh, so, very very tricky na because unlike tv a new show on ott what does it even mean because you may discover a show months or even years after it's been released so it's very tricky uh, what about ram and kiran you know how how do you then decide between uh, two otts till we have the numbers is it perception based so, uh, for us it is still uh, very very we are very clear uh, for us imagery is directly proportional to the screen size okay Okay. so i got to be on a bigger tv okay and uh, in terms of content also we are not so very much worried we know that this is the content which is actually happening on television yeah. and we yeah. just uh, you know tag along with that content so okay. i so i i just need to feed in those commercials within those kind of the properties which are already working and i know for the sure that people who are coming back from office or you know, they don't have time mm. they are going to watch that catch up content sometime Hmm. so i am i am very clear as a fmcg brand mujhe imagery banana hai so i will just try to maximize my visibility for the branding purpose on the bigger television so that is why connected television is where i am actually putting my money is 
Hmm. And, hmm. and uh, yeah, I mean, I can do lots of brand lift studies to understand, etc. But uh, I typically have my district uh, in a place uh, through my salespeople. Okay, so I have the people in various markets, and you know they watch it, their friends, etc. Watch it. Uh, hmm. It becomes good motivational uh, thing for them, and it snowballs. So because in a digital, while I have spent disproportionate amount of money on you know social media and YouTube advertising, oh, they yeah. cannot give me that kind of a buzz. So buzz is something which I'm actually chasing. Hmm. And that buzz is possible through my television. So that's why actually working for me, and that's why I'm not really really concerned as of now. Ki yar, mere money ka kitna return aa raha hai kine. So metrics is right now for me is not uh, when I understand as as, as uh, Smita as well as Rama said. I mean it's very important. Yeah, yeah. No, I will come to CTVs in just a bit. I have a question for Jay also, but before that, I want Ram's perspective because you're on the other end of the spectrum. You know, Kiran spoke about FMCG. What about you? I'm sure it's not quite the same. Um. So it does start from that angle, right? The uh, top of the funnel, right? Mm. Uh, however, for us, there is a lot of um, a lot of opportunity to convert the people on OTT to uh, to our apps, right? We are a digital yeah. product, which is a digital yeah. only product. So it's easier for us to make that transition. Mm. Um, and to to a fair extent, we have been able to uh, leverage that from whatever activities we have done on OTT. Uh, but again, right uh, today. as a strategy we are uh, more focused on buying content right and rather than choosing a platform uh, right. also our major spends have been actually on uh, live action or reality right uh, specific uh, live action for us is sports uh, yeah. and definitely cricket in india oh, yeah. uh, uh, and again then we have we have chosen specific content uh, so i i in a way feel perhaps that's going to be a way in which we might start measuring not just ott but maybe say other platforms also where we ideally invest in a specific format of content or a specific language of content right mm. it could be that i want to get a particular audience in a particular language domain or a particular uh, yeah. um, uh, attitude domain right so i would specifically focus there and i'll yeah. then focus from a content perspective difficult to measure uh, yeah. or uh, for now right yeah. uh, but because there is there is see if i go to a, a different platform which gives me a lot more data hmm. i would not think twice i would not want to innovate so much i would just move ahead use the existing hmm. data and it then becomes a, a sort of an automated process hmm. while as while here we have to like internally also innovate and then it gives us that freedom to think a, a, a slightly differently hmm. um, we have been able to consistently Uh, increase our spends by uh, using certain simple frameworks uh, at our end, uh, mm. and that's that's where today uh, um, I wouldn't say the challenge, but uh, that's where today, as advertisers, we are investing in right. We, mm. The lure of not having that data, we mm. are trying to spend uh, on on not <laughs> not creating, but trying to understand and create systems and frameworks to mm. better understand what we are getting. Mm. Um, might be useful if it is done at a larger scale because it yeah. it will help us standardize these things much better yeah absolutely no no i'm very glad kiran brought up the the ctv twice actually so with that i'll come to jay i want to understand you know first of all this um, this visual of a family huddling around a connected tv it's so ironic because uh, ott when it was born it kind of broke away from that very template of the big screen and family viewing uh, and now maybe we're pivoting back to that so how has that impacted media planning and buying and uh, you know how is it really going back to a tv like system of planning and where do the similarities end because i'm i'm you know afraid to draw too many parallels between planning for tv and ott got no it's uh, actually it's 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 about uh, you know what we call it as one to one and one to many so yeah. tv used to be one to many uh, and then mobile came it became one to one Uh, mm. but it's it's now no longer platform driven it is it is more content driven so you know right. there are there is certain content like ipl the whole family will come together and watch it but you know if there is anything else so when when you look at comedy and when you're watching comedy together it's mm. a certain kind of comedy versus mm. comedy when you're watching one to one so yeah. it's 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 all content driven you know there will be certain content when the family gets together and i and i i think that's that's what is evolving and it's making life uh, quite quite challenging for us as media yeah. planners because at at one end you have you know content chasing at the other end you have people who are switching off from advertising so platforms like netflix etc you yeah. know where you can't 
reach how do you how do you reach to people who are the cord cutters what yeah. do you do and that's where you know some of the insight has been that you know like live content news mm-hmm. etc is mm-hmm. where the family comes together again mm-hmm. so it's 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 more on the on the content space and just just going back to the question which you were asking yeah it's it's not a one size fits all so mm-hmm. there are advertisers who are perception based you know they'll they'll go behind perception and they'll say this works there are there are certain people who certain set of advertisers who are chasing content you know so mm-hmm. i am uh, like advertising on star plus and uh, mm-hmm. gcs of the world i will mm-hmm. chase that content on ott because that is like you know ca- catch up tv got and then the third one is the numbers you know mm-hmm. where like where is the incremental coming from is ott adding reach to tv Mm. and that's that's the place where we struggle we view the mm. mathematical models etc to put that in place but finally mm. it's not real numbers we are just mm. fusing two data sets and trying to arrive at at something which we can go back but mm. that pie is the largest the clients who are asking for what's the incrementality is the largest and okay. and that's where the the maximum struggle is yeah you know jay i must mention uh, someone a media bio actually told me it's not about cord cutters in india it's about cord stackers so yeah. yeah apparently it's it's uh, cord shavers you know cord shavers cord shavers is is the one which is really growing yeah mm-hmm. cord yeah. cutters are are few and this but the cord shavers is the category which is really increasing that's Where, right you know only given a this thing a, a, a possibility i will get on to uh, you know watching tv or something otherwise i'm off so that's so right. that's 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 interesting yeah it is indeed so i want to go back to the marketers i want to ask you because um from what i'm reading i'm understanding that audience profiling on ott is becoming sharper it's becoming granular despite the absence of a universal uh, viewership metric it's still getting more and more granular it's not just age gender geo anymore so i want to ask you ram smita and kiran um jay chimin once they're done answering please um how deep do you dig and uh, what tools are you using today um yeah as i said earlier also for us it's really looking at tools which connect the whole funnel can like okay. all our media strategy together so while we do have planners uh, which are media experts separately uh, in our team we do look at a tv plus what is the gap? we look at um, you know youtube google plus what is the gap and where is that consumer really absorbing content for us to make an ott strategy uh so because there is no clear uh, metric i think the tool is also something that's a combination of different, different things it's a combination of understanding your target profile reading data and as uh, someone mentioned really seeing what are the top shows on television uh, right um, if if that's something that you want to get through ott additionally uh, i saw a question on regional channels in the chat box yes. so definitely uh, regional is also something that's becoming very big on ott and that's where the whole uh, banter is about netflix losing out onto that right so mm. a lot of things uh, are getting covered uh, through ott as behavior uh, gaps which tv uh, in terms of cost which youtube in terms of attention is not able to fulfill i think for us it it is very clearly putting two and two together and then finally arriving at ott strategy so it needs a bit of a marketing acumen from a insights plus um, understanding your consumer it's not pure data maths as yet uh, which performance marketing probably has become it yeah. is a lot about the marketers uh, uh, understanding of its consumer and being a little uh, are you a brand that is uh, a little more forward and um, catching on to trends catching on to behaviors early so i think it's it's a combination of all these things and uh, probably just uh, saying that one tool helps us to do this is is uh, not an answer you really have to put the whole map together and the picture together right no of course so ram kiran how deep do you dig because from what i'm reading i get these nebulous uh, concepts like psychographic behavioral based intent or interest based i mean it's all very well to say but just tell me which tools really help you get there uh, how do you really so for for, the... us, for our brand it is uh, we still it is more art than the science the only science so, i put in the picture is that uh, i will uh, go only on the device specific because mm. i am i am changing tv so even when i am advertising on ott i will be uh, flashing my ads only on television so mm. that that's how we are actually doing it so it's still more uh, uh, art for us than mm. the side yeah that's right so so for us like we have we have uh, we have done um, two degrees uh, at times three degrees of uh, targeting right we have gone device okay. we gone Uh, gender we got uh, different spaces right mm-hmm. uh, but uh, one thing that i i feel that ott today provides uh, mm-hmm. 
is a, a great uh, level of experimentation. Hmm. Uh, so even if I look at it from that angle, before I go into TV, I can experiment with a particular audience or with particular content style or a top topic or uh, hmm. activity, and then think about whether I can scale that as an expense on TV, right? Hmm. Uh, I think that level of experimentation is one piece that uh, I feel uh, OTT is very strong at. And the second piece is the engagement on off the content, right? So that's something yeah. that a lot of OTT players have uh, come up with. Some of them have created certain uh, real good properties around it. Mm. Uh, so while someone is consuming content, having a second layer of engagement, mm. yeah, right? it could be it could be a play along kind of a thing in in say a kbc or or um, i think swiggy did something with uh, um, ipl uh, in in 2020 right mm. um, so the, these are interesting uh, uh, that's right ex examples that are possible i think that is one piece um, which i i feel that ott is able to provide there is content there is a live engagement mm. um, so and 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 i think as I think all of the panelists have pointed out, uh, a lot of uh, work needs to be done on the advertiser's end today mm -hmm. uh, to, to actually uh, utilize this platform uh, to, its, uh, to its potential. Yeah, advertisers will say work needs to be done on the platform's end. So Yes, uh, I'm, I'm just saying that for we are actually putting a lot of effort to, to actually consume or like get the advantage of the platforms. Mm -hmm. so definitely, it will help us if, if the platforms are also adding more and more uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. You have your own tools as well, right? Which help you retarget your existing customers on OTT? We have yeah. done that. We, we do, we do, um, so as, as I said, right, we do ex a lot of experiments and that's one advantage that I feel that I can get uh, on OTT vis-a-vis vis -vis TV, right? Yeah. I can experiment a lot and uh, learn a lot through those experimentation and build my data model. Right, hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I, that's that's what I'm aiming at. Right, we are put, putting all that effort to utilize OTT. Hmm. Uh, would also love that some of the these things are standardized, so the effort goes down at our end. Absolutely, yeah. So Jay, we have just two or three minutes left. I'll you know let you have the last word on this. You can answer this question also, and do tell us about the ad formats that uh, you know are working today or that will lead the way forward on OTT. Uh, on, on the on the first part, uh, you see, def, there are there are there are two data sources. So one is the input data, uh, and one is the output data. So the input data is what we are struggling, you know, to to get all the OTTs on a on a similar uh, platform. Mm -hmm. The output data is what it does for me as a brand. You know, what mm -hmm. what results have happened, which OTT has worked, and that data is something which every advertiser is trying to play. You know, so we are trying to create our entire first party data so that we can you know use that. And once we have a substantial base and we've used that uh, more and more, I think we'll be self-reliant. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, then, then it gets completely into an output kind of way of working. But input mm -hmm. continues to be there because that's, that's where cost comes into play and, and other metrics to try and compare it. Uh, so so from, a, from, from a perspective, yes, OTT is very, very important. Uh, mm -hmm. it, is, it is the growth engine currently uh, for our industry. Uh, that's that's the newer way of consuming content. We've seen movies, etc. Everything coming. It's going to be parallel even after the pandemic ends. Uh, you will have OTT content. You'll have cinema. You'll have everything. And uh, so it's it's a it's an important piece in a in a media planners sort of uh, book. Uh, my my only uh, like like what I started off. I just continue to say that you know it's it's very important that we get onto that one sort of measure. Uh, mm -hmm. It will help the industry, but I can understand there is there are other challenges, etc. But uh, it's 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 a matter of time. We will have to get there. You know, you, yeah. we will be able because it's 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 so rapidly growing, and there's so much of money coming into it from the advertiser standpoint yeah. that currently it, it doesn't suffer. But you know, yeah. once it gets into a matured level like TV, mm -hmm. uh, there will be an issue uh, facing uh, at that point of time. So that's that's the only thing, and the other one is transparency. You know, uh, I hope I can rely on the data which I'm getting. Absolutely, yeah, great. We have about half a minute. Ajay, uh, add formats quickly, like half a minute. So uh, one one thing what we've learned clearly is that uh, there is there is like you know when you're looking at catch up, you know, using OTT as a catch up, your TV ad can work well on 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 sure. the OTT platform. You know, because that's where you're trying to do it. It's, it's you're following the content, let the ad follow. 
but otherwise uh, it's not necessary that you need to use your tv commercials as your this thing because the 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 experience is different the way of consuming is different and we need to respect the audience for that so okay. therefore you know uh, that that format needs to change uh, shorter formats have worked much better uh, mm-hmm. but again it depends on brand to brand what you're trying to commute communicate etc but yeah there is it's not necessary what runs on tv needs to run on ott got it no that's perfectly summed up absolutely we're out of time thank you very much sure. that's that's all from me uh, our next panel will start immediately so audience please hang back thank you thank you thanks a lot thanks thank you thank you bye thank you everyone for such an insightful session